project really about the importance of our own stories and, and the different ways that we can actually tell those stories. So we've used drama, we've used the following of drama and we've brought it right up to date with storytelling but digital storytelling so it's a new multimedia way of uh, sharing and collecting stories. If I hold on to the memories and use them to guide me well, the first groups that were involved were our drama groups, Top Woman from the Waterside and the Happy Go Luckies from Craigan, who have grown up over through the process of the Learning Age project. And they put together a piece of drama uh, about their school days, so that was obviously stories from then, from the past. It's my birthday today. It's your birthday today. Yes. What age are you today? It must. Well, I went to a school in the country and we just had two rooms, you know, so I, I like school. I got on ground with the teacher right now. Week after week with no book back. Hold up your head when I speak to you. I really enjoy it. Like, you know, it's nerve wracking. But, you know, when it all gets together, you enjoy it. You enjoy the company, you know. And I think it kind of does some for you. Gain a wee bit of confidence in yourself. Aye, it does. You know, Because you, you thought to yourself, well, I'll never be able to do that, or I'm not going to do this, or I won't, but you, you do it. I just enjoy coming here and meeting. Yeah, we've got to know. Know a lot of people by coming to drama. It was an intergenerational project, so uh, we've worked with Rosemount Primary School over a number of years to see the difference of a, an intergenerational program, a sustained program, can make with children. So we've been with them since primary three, and now they're they're in P6. So they've been through a series of different um, arts programs, music photography and visual art and now drama and digital storytelling. Little peeps, and they've, they've got a really interesting one, they're, talk, they're doing all individual stories about all the, the best experiences, and the worst experiences in their life so far. So they've all, they've all got their different things with pictures and these stories. My good experience was when I went to Portugal. We went to Alvor. It had lots of beaches. It was very hot. My bad experience was being sick, but but I got better and a check. <laughs> my favourite band ticket is One Direction. My good experience was when I went to Florida with my mommy and dad for my birthday. And my favourite part was all the rides and the swimming pools and all. We actually put it out to the public, to older people who we're interested in maybe learning new skills on the computer, that's the digital kind of part of it, but also wanted to share a story with us as part of that process. So anybody, as long as they were age 50 plus, could be involved in that programme. And we had 12 people that, that we enrolled on that. And most of them stayed on to actually create a story. He went looking for somewhere and he seen the house we out in the countryside. And uh, he came along and he up to the door and then the man introduced the bicycle. And then he went into the first night and there was a great night's music session. So it was like learning how to use Wonder's Movie Maker, how to import your photographs, import your audio and stuff like that, and uh, actually search on Google, Google Images. It's very, very interesting, a bit frustrating as Cathy says, but you know, it's only because we don't know and it's pressing the right button and, and you know, but I think we've come on leaps and bounds in the last three or four weeks that we've been here. That's me with the horrible scat. The story is about, um, well it's an experience when I was a child and we had a choir and I lived in a wee village called Clogher and it's about, uh, we had no uniform and the nuns made us skirts and boleros to wear for this festival and we were just handed a skirt, you had no choice and I've called the story Never Mind the Length, Feel the Width. I'm just going to read the poem mm. and I have the photos to back it up with all the children and all, and the happy times, <laughs> but we're all small. When I awoke one Christmas morn, a fine fresh day before the dawn, I saw the Christmas tree so bright, glittering with its fairy lights, amid the snow so pearly white, reflecting stars left from the night. I found throughout the last five years of the Learn Age project that 
Um, older people are very generous, very generous with their time, with each other, supporting each other through the programs. And I often said to them, you know, throughout the program, do you regret not having these opportunities when you were younger? And you know, you would expect them to say, oh, I'd love that, you know. And maybe they, in their hearts they do, but they'd say, but sure, we're getting it now. Aren't we really lucky? Look at all the things that, that we've been opened up to, you know, like on the Now and Then project, for example. One, two, three, Aliri, four, five, six, Aliri, seven, eight, nine, Aliri, ten, Aliri, over that. One, two. The drama, I suppose, is one of the most original kind of ways of sharing stories. Um, and the drama, it was to show the, the children that, you know, the older people have these skills. Yes, dear. Granny, you have to help me with my homework today. That's about the old days, you know, when you were young, about a hundred years ago. In the night goes the last day, blue bells in the Some of the stories that the older group went, that went with was games they played as children. Some of the children, it's games that they're playing now. And what we've done, is we've, we've got some of the older people and they work along with the children as well. And what they're going to do is tell two to three minute stories using their voice, obviously, and then using images and sometimes music over the top of it. My name is Emer, and my amazing experience is that when I was younger, I had open heart surgery and a liver transplant. I was born over in Belfast, unlike my brother and sister who was born in Up the Galvin. We're putting some songs in for the middle of our like bad experience and good experience. It's going to be a digital story, so it's just um, getting it all together to get on the big screen. You're very, very welcome to the Nerve Centre Cinema. And we're here for a celebration. What are we here celebrating? Do you remember what we're doing? You're fun, yeah, but everybody's, all our digital stories are play. She clapped her hands. Girls, take your skirts over to Sister Kira. She will mark it with your name. All the uniforms will be pressed here at the school and we will meet on Saturday morning, nine o'clock sharp, hair tied back, faces scrubbed and wearing brown shoes. They must be brown and they must be shiny. Are not really that strict? Are not yes. really that strict? Yes. 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 Intergenerational work we deem is, is becoming more and more important because the opportunities for older and younger people to get together are fewer than what they were in the past. My so God, I moved over in the bed and I fell off the range and walled the bridge into the river. Did you like wake up straight away or like the next morning when you woke up you were just like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I woke up when he hit the river. <laughs> I loved it. The bats loved it. It was amazing! <laughs> the whole thing! I'm working with the other ladies. I was really good. We actually really enjoyed it. I thought it was brilliant. There was lots of good actors there. They done great. She is pretty. She is the care from Barry City. It was very good. I really enjoyed the youngsters too, but I enjoyed that them storytelling. Loved okay. it. I would love working with them. The youngsters just loved it. Very, very enjoyable, so it, was, it really was. It was a, it was a great the response from the children, you know. I thought it was amazing. I thought it was like the best day ever. I'm really going to miss them now. It was excellent, it was excellent. And just the, the two different dynamics from the, 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 from the Rosemount kids to these, these hangings here. <laughs> but uh, just great, uh, great stories. And I liked most about it was working with the ladies. Very good. The children again, I think, was meeting the children and that, up at the school was fabulous that, was that morning and the day we worked with the children. Coming here today and meeting them all again and, and getting their reactions to the stories that everybody wrote, you know, so I think that was incredible. They were so interested in everything, they were just brilliant, the children. Um, I thought it was uh, actually really entertaining. Hope we get to do it again. If I hold on to
Just don't.